Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to uh, our Witcher 3 episode. It is episode 37 of our blind playthrough. There have been too many goddamn rats in this whole goddamn building. Uh, time for me to get the fuck out of here and keep exploring this island. So, in the last episode, we chatted with Annabelle. Um, we also, you know, generally uh, read up on the... What was it called? The mage? The The wizard in this tower um and generally got the got the story so the story on on what exactly was going on it turns out that annabelle uh was like i almost said spurned that's not a correct description of what was happening uh annabelle was like sort of wait hold up what's with the door you wish to leave as Gloria did what do you want no more lies. No more deceit. What? I can't leave? You will stay here for all time. You will never leave. Oh! Oh, what? You gotta be fucking <laughs> Oh, this is not how I expected this to go down. <laughs> what? What's happening here? Is she a mourn tart? Oh my god. I truly don't know. Oh, we got a character entry for her, but I don't know. Uh, let me get back to... Back to that. Uh, what? Oh, I truly was not expecting this. Wow. Annabelle. Oh, look, you are so pretty. Holy cow. Geralt encountered this young woman's ghost in the uppermost room in the haunted tower on Fike Isle. She told him that in life she had been the local lord's daughter. When enraged peasants stormed the tower, she feared they would ravage her honor if they found her alive, so took a magic potion that put her in a corpse-like state of paralysis. When she awoke, she found herself lying amidst the bodies of her family and servants, unable to move. She watched in helpless horror as rats feasted on the pile of corpses and began to nibble on her as well. The grisly death must have somehow put a curse on her in the tower, for her ghost had wandered it in restless torment ever since. Geralt engaged his vast experience with such curses to search for possible so solution. Having learned that Annabelle had loved a simple fisherman named Graham, Geralt decided this man in the bond of true love the two youths shared could be their salvation. When Geralt tried to leave the tower, the wraith revealed its true nature. It turned out what Geralt took to be the ghost of an innocent girl was in fact a plague maiden, death and disease in spirit form. Also, here's Graham. This is not how I expected this to go down. I thought I was going to go over to town, talk with Graham, be like, yo, listen, you got to you gotta do me a solid. You got to bury some bones. You can't ask any questions. You got to bury some bones. And then the whole life for you and your whole town is going to get a lot better. Also, maybe I'll pay you like 50 crowns or something. I don't know. It turns out I can't do that. Graham was a simple fisherman from an even simpler village, Oriton. Yet the role he had played in local events was anything but... Fike Isle, the Tower of the Curse, had been a key part of it all. Geralt had learned from Annabelle about the deep feelings the two had shared, but the rest of their tragic story only emerged later. And we have some unclarity, so I still need to talk to, to, to Graham, and I'm going to need to remember to come back to this part later. All right, so we got a Plague Maiden, maiden on our hands. Uh, one thing at a time, I guess. When I get out of this tower, I'm going to explore some more. But I really thought we potentially had a... A solution here. This is saying Erden, Yurden, and Spectre Oil. All right. Did we technically fight a Plague Maiden before? I think we did. With the, uh... We'll apply that. Um... Otherwise, we'll just go for it? I think we did the one with the well. Was that a Plague Maiden? That probably wasn't a Plague Maiden. Uh, now, hold up. Yurdin is the magic trap. All right, so these rats are also going to be a little annoying. You're running. Yo, what? Hold up. Put the lamp away. All right, there's the thing. Yep, we have to make it. We did do this. Oh, shit. Getting lit up a little bit. Oh, we're destroying her, though. Yep, trap her inside of here and then hit her a bunch. Not bad. Pesta is her name. You cannot kill me? Right. 
It sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. Had to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curve before you lunged at her, sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Whew. Fisherman named Graham. Okay. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. I am massively relieved because I'll be honest with you. I thought for a second there that the option was more like the werewolf one. One or the other. You either solve Annabelle's love quarrel feeling with Graham or you fight a pesta. Um, it says talk to Graham about Annabelle. Use the thing to find the ghost. Um, okay. Well, well, well. Oriton's over there. Sure, sure, sure. We still have some more. Yeah, we got some more uh, stuff in here, potentially. Um, also, maybe some rats in here. Yo, fuck you, rats. Oh, they just keep coming. They won't stop coming. Fuck you, rats. All right. So, with that done, whew, a quick save, and we're going to take a look around this whole tower um, and island, really. Nope, let's put... I hit the wrong thing. Let's do this. Use the lamp. Millie, oh. we got to flee. Quick now. Millie. M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. We're so up. Burning. Ah. Oh, man. There's still so much we don't know here. What? No. No. Stay back. Don't leave me. Yeah, the whole part about the... It says Graham's role in the whole affair hasn't come out yet. Uh, the whole sickness part does not have a good answer to us yet. Was the alchemist the... Uh, shit, what's his name? I literally just read his thing last time. The mage, sorry. Mage Alexander. Um, I was like, what's the word that they used? Mage. I could remember if it was mage or like sorceress or whatever. There's so many of those terms that I'm still quite uh, trying to wrap my head around here. Uh, we got some loot in here. Okay. Love it. We have a couple more ghosts to see, I think. Some more items over here. Um, well, there's something mad over there. Okay. Oh, wait, this is where we came in. Holy shit. So, on this map, does it actually show... I'm going to put a marker there. This way, it appears that there is still something. No. The marker I just put was at the top of the whole castle. I'm at uh, the top of the whole tower. I'm a dummy. Um, okay. So we've got these things all the way around. Just trying to make sure we get the fullest story possible here. I really... This game is making me uh, really happy about the amount of, uh, like reward it is giving for being thorough and frankly the amount of punishment it is giving when i'm not thorough you know every time i'm not uh not finding what feels like the full answer it appears that uh i'm suffering for my lack of knowledge which i i really like as a person who tends to be a little bit more like you know thorough anyways he says as he runs randomly around outside all right so doesn't appear to be anything there. Um, we could fast travel over to the thing. Sure, sure, sure. Here's a mo here's a thing that I'm wondering about. It says optional use the magic lamp to find ghosts. I feel that I have done that and probably found maybe not all of them, but at least most of them. Um but I'm wondering if this game would tell me if I didn't, if I had found all of them, you know, like if it would, uh, how do I phrase that? If it would check off as a green mark, if I had found all of them, you know, 
Or are there more ghosts over here somewhere? I don't know. There are, though. I'd like to... This is a different ta uh, different stairway. Locked. Okay. Shit. Well, screw that idea. But also, we've been around, like, most of this place, you know? Dead body. Um... So I guess, I guess I'm just going to go back and uh, see if I can talk with uh, Graham. Like, I, sorry, this is a moment where I'm like not yet versed enough in this game to know. It doesn't give me a green check mark yet. So there might still be a ghost in the entirety of this thing. I can't tell. Maybe there's one out here that I missed. Um, either way, I'm going to go talk to Graham. So uh, let's fast travel and go to... First off, we should remove our mark. Go to... Shit. I need to take my boat there. Aha. Okay. I guess that gives us a good chance to run this way and look for any uh, more... There's beasts, but are there any... Places for me to use my lamp. Does not appear so. All right. Go to the rudder. Hit the helm button. And we're off. All right. Something's in the water. Yo, 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 yo. yo. No, 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 no. There's, there's something in the water. I have played... Too, too much Subnautica for that to be fun. All right, everybody chill. There's a red dot on my icon. I got scared. Oof. Oh, we're going a little bit left here. Let's go talk to Graham. Yo, Graham. This ought to be a fun and very easy conversation, by the way. Yo, Graham. So, like, I don't know how long ago it was, but, like, a while back, you were, like, kind of in vaguely interested in... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This girl, and this girl is dead. And you helped kill her. So let's talk about that. Made it to Oriton. The peasant was trying to knock on the door. You death, damn it. I told you. Who are you? Uh, I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. What that should it? have some respect, what right? I care? I've been to the island. I no? know what happened there. You turd. Show some respect, bro. I'm a witcher. What do you want of me? <laughs> uh, I'm here about Annabelle. <laughs> what if I just said Wanna bye? Talk to you about See Annabelle. You. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. That's true. Did you love her? Did you love her? I... Something mad. Aww. Loved her so deep, I believed we'd come through. Believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter in a plain lout. Yo, don't speak of yourself that way. You're not a plain lout. You're a very abnormal lout. Uh, Fike Isle, what happened there? What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch, and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since I sold them fish. They okay. forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. Her mm. Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. I just had a thought. First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. 
Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. I'm gonna ask in a second. Cursing all to hell, huh? Uh, here is the question I just thought of. There was the ghost thing about releasing the rats. I wonder if that was these people or if that was what came later. Because people did show up later. I don't know. And either way, I wonder if it, like, poisoned... Like, I wonder if the people around Orton have been struggling with plague. Um, what exactly did you say? Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I... don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. What did you say, it's buddy? Poison. Because of them. It wasn't poison. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means, is she? You said you spoke to her. Spoke yeah. to a ghost. Not exactly. By the time she awoke, <laughs> tower was full of cold corpses and rats. She was warm meat. Oh no. Rats ate her alive. He ain't gonna like that. She was alive the whole time, but it can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought. So she drank the poison. You entered the room, spent a whole bunch of time feeling that she was cold, begging her, and then you ran out and did the thing? I don't know. Not your fault. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing, and you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, That's I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. Yeah. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> yeah. but there's naught I can do about it now. Untrue, Wrong actually. Count. Hey. You can still help. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. Is she still there? In the tower? Can I see You don't her? want to do that. You yeah. don't want to do that, bro. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? <laughs> What's that? More than a restless ghost, a plague maiden, a powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her, give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Uh, she thinks that you've abandoned her, so all you gotta do there is like go, like, you know. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Bury her bones or some shit. She hates me. And all this time she thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes. What the fuck? Go to the tower, talk to her. Did you see that? Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never left her there otherwise. Love can shatter the curse's power. Did you guys see that in the window? The curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just that guy. The legends. What's he if doing? If you know the legends, you know one kiss is a enough bow. to break an evil spell. On one condition. One kiss, it's a kiss is all it takes. Love is true. I told dun, 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 you. I said dun, dun, I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not. Honestly, run this props time. to Graham. Props to Graham. Let's go. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Who the fuck is that guy outside? He's got his bow drawn. Let's go to the tower. Oh, we TP'd right here. Oh, shit. Okay. That's fantastic, actually. I wonder what would have happened if I wouldn't have TP'd here. I wonder if that guy was waiting to talk. Ah, uh, we should quick save. All right. Graham, you're coming in, buddy. Come on in. No, 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 no. Come on in. Yep, come on in. No time to chicken out now. Yep, you're coming in. Graham? I should probably change the uh, quest part to the actual important part. Uh, come on. Graham, you fucker, come on. Oh, buddy. Oh. We wonder if this place becomes a view. 
Okay. Long enough for revenge. Ow! And now he comes to attack the Elder Builder. No, run. You've got to go. They'll kill me. Don't be afraid. There's a lot of dialogue happening at once here. Last I came through here, I still hoped Annabelle and me would... It weren't impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on. To rest in peace. Okay. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed it is too up. quiet. Let's get this over <laughs> with. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. I'm gonna meditate because I need more. Uh... Don't think about that. <clears throat> Keep walking. Yeah, I need more uh, cat as well, so I can actually see. Um, so I think I'm fighting, I'm refighting the ghosts level by level. So I think if I pull out my shit, nope, if I pull out my magic lamp, no, nothing. All right. I, maybe not. I would have imagined it was level by level, but. All right. Nothing here. Come on, Graham. He's running. There we go. Let's go see what happens up here. Hmm. Cat's wearing off. I need to remember to put a new oil on too. Okay, that's in there. Let's just go ahead. Uh, I'll do it when we actually get there. Graham, bro, you coming? Okay. Here we go. Cutscene. You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. It, is... Is that... Don't you love me? How... It's me, Annabelle. Oh! The one you abandoned. The tongue. Remember? One kiss, buddy. One kiss. I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would. You, you know that well. Believe uh -oh. me, I beg you. Oh my god. Prove it. The missing teeth for some reason do it for me. The missing front two. Kiss me. Graham, careful. It's about to happen here. Graham, are you the bravest person I know? Holy fucking shit. I thought there was no way. Graham, a true hero? Is he about to put some passion behind? Oh, the passion! Yeah, I gotta look away. It's getting hot in here. I'm gonna vomit. Oh my god, it worked. Yo, I am very happily married. I have found my soulmate in life. I have truly... Oh, you fucker. I've met the person I want to spend the rest of my life with, and I'm married to her, and I don't know that I'd kiss her if she turned into a plague maiden. At last. Did he have to die? Is he dead? I thought she the strangled him. Lifted, and Graham and Annabella reunited. Oh. Oh, man. Shit. Uh, that was incredible. Graham is a true hero. Are you shitting me? I have so much respect for Graham right now. Uh, There should be a rest of a thing, right? Graham. Exactly how the young man participated in the incident remained unclear. 
Graham filled Geralt in on the rest of the story, one in which youthful longing for happiness lost out to fate's cruelties and human greed, having learned there was a slim chance he could save his beloved ghost. The fisherman set out at once to help the Witcher lift the curse weighing down on the isle. The evil spell was broken, the story did not have a happy ending. Despite his courage and dedication, Graham died while saving the one he had never ceased to love. Fuck me, dude. Wow. That's crazy. That's a fun quest. Go, yo, Graham, you got any loot? Yo, brother, you got any uh, loot? No? Okay. Um. Wow, that was fun. It's a lot of fun. I like that quest. Beautifully written. Uh, you know how you can tell? You know how you can tell it's beautifully written? So in the, at the exact moment of climax, uh, where I'm like, where, where we walk into the room, the cutscene happens. In the cutscene, I had about five different ideas of what was going to happen next. And it turns out... Uh, a, a good, exciting one happened. You know, like, the, the thing that happened was was satisfying. Uh, I wish Graham was alive, but it's it's very, like, romantically satisfying, um, tragically satisfying that he had to die in order to lift the curse. You know, it's a brave and courageous thing. Um, but that the fact that at the moment, 16... I say 16. Five different things could have happened. I thought for a moment they were... He, he was going to fail um, to kiss her. And thus curse us to a fight and or, and or keep the curse alive. And specifically, like, fail his love for his old beloved. I thought he was going to fail. I thought she was strangling him, which is maybe kind of what happened. Um, before that, I actually thought, oh, this is great. He's going to kiss her. She's turned into this. She's going to dissolve into dust. Graham's going to walk away, you know? Um... I thought she was going to strangle him and then we were still going to have to fight. But instead we have the strangle and then a peaceful moment rather than a, you know, it's crazy. So many different possibilities um, because of the looks like rain. <laughs> Geralt and I are the opposite people. It turns out <laughs> I'm over here uh, soliloquizing, soliloquizing, solilo waxing poetic. Performing a soliloquy on the beauty of that quest, and he's like, Looks like rain. <laughs> Fucking Carol. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here, I guess. Let's go talk to Kira, maybe? Sure. That seems fun. I kind of want to go back to Oriton, though, and see... You know what? <sighs> let's get a Kira first. Let's get a Kira first. I want to come back to Oriton, for sure. It's a new village. It's a new notice board. It's also a new... Uh, I want to see if Graham was known around. I want to get a full story. Like, maybe maybe Graham will be mentioned around there. I'm not sure. Uh, there's the girl. I go this way. Okay. I got to technically go to the right. Yeah? No? Left? All right. Let's tell Kira. Sure, I'll just grab Roach. Come here, Roach. Give me up. Looks like rain, by the way. Looks like rain. All right. Kira, what do you got to say about this shit I just witnessed? Yo, it was insane. Beautiful love story, truly. Um, Kira? Hi, how's it going? Hello, hello. Geralt, just when I was starting Geralt. to miss you. Aw. Uh, Mage from the Isle, tell me about him. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Okay, so I was wondering more about if he managed to, like, uh, pull off any, you know, if you learned anything about the pl about plagues or sickness from him, because he was doing some shit in there. Any, any word from sorceresses from the lodge? of the None. lodge? We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. 
Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. You guys need a code way to talk. You and the other sorceresses. Alright, Fike Isle, I managed to remove the curse. Fike Isle's free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pester involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. Aww. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. For the everybody but Graham. Lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. Is it more common? I don't know. Um... I mean, I look at that and I'm like, shit, Graham had uncommon bravery um, slash uncommon love. I don't know. Alexander was doing some very strange research. One thing's bothering me. Yes, me too, what? Geralt. Annabelle said Alexander was studying disease. Catriona. She mentioned Catriona. Catriona. Knew this. All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. I read his notes. Were there more? I don't think so. I think I was pretty thorough. What do you want to do with the lamp? The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. Hey. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the eye has been cleansed. Hell yeah. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. See ya. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances okay. from Oof. Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Kira, you Did got you me running around this goddamn land. The package is rather important to me. Jesus Christ. I'll look into it. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bell. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. You're telling me. It's Black Bow. You're telling me it's Velen, not Valen? That's crazy. Um, a favor for a friend. All right, so hold up. Let's take a look at it. Uh, what is the... It's level six and I'm level eight, almost nine. Oh, I hate that I'm, my level is going up. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about that. I hope that my level going up won't shut me out of lower level quests. I really am nervous about that. Uh, find the ingredients from the missing transport using your Witcher senses. I think I'll maybe click on that, actually. Honestly. Um, do we have any super low Witcher contracts? No, we do not. Okay, just eight. We also need to level up. We're about to have two leveling up here in just a second. Um, that's important. However, most importantly, we finished that quest. That was huge. Very huge. I'm glad we did. Um, it is time to sort of take care of some... Ah, oh, fuck. I was going to say it's time to... Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelamos. Never mind. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man <laughs> who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Protect. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What's the point of Forefather's Eve? Roach in the background just hanging out. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. Oh. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living. Must that was be beautiful. Judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. Dude, you've convinced me. You, you still need to convince Geralt, but you've convinced me. Holy fuck. A times. That was beautiful. What do you give me? What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free. This the Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid. This, this too, too the, Pella the Pella knows. Incredible. I love this guy's voice. They have. Oh, they have a. Uh, voice can be a hard thing to nail in writing or, or dialogue or whatever in acting, but like. Um, because it's so like tenuous, voice is, is like 
to me as a writer, at least on the writing side of things, is more like sort of defined as like as broadly as this, how one person would respond to literally everything, any scenario, any situation. This too, the Pella knows. Oh, I'll help you for sure. I'll help you. Seems like you could use a witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse. The Pella knew. The Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. The Pella Across knows. Across the lake, we must journey to Fike yep. Isle. Fucking there in shit. the circle of stones, we shall meet. I the was just there. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at oh midnight. Oh my god. Yo, god damn it. I got all kinds of shit to get done. I got fucking... I gotta repair my armor. I gotta play some more... I gotta... You know? Is it technically a... Did I miss it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Or Father's Eve. All right, cool. Fike Isle at midnight. All right. I mean, what time is it right now? 7 p.m.? I don't even have time to get a nap? Yo, I've been running myself ragged here, Peller. Give me a break, dude. I gotta grab all this uh, this shit out of here. Ranagrin. Whatever that one was that I just clicked on so quickly with a V. All right, Roach. You and I, uh, it's time to make it to a town somewhere. So, Midcops has an armor's table and a grindstone. Does Midcops have a blacksmith is the question. Uh, did I just, did I, wait, 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 did I just see that? I don't know. You're telling me I got to go back to Fike Isle tonight. I don't think it actually matters if I go tonight. So I am going to ride for mid cops real quick. Come on, Roach. I don't think that it actually matters that I get to Fike Isle by midnight. I hope I'm not wrong. I'm going to quick save just in case. I can always come back to this moment. Roach, yo, you, you got to, you got to. You gotta go. Coach got stuck on the, uh, the thing. All right. Right into town. They have the uh, the easy part. Slow now. Whoa. Sorry, not the easy part. They have the uh, the tables and stuff. Blacksmith, incredible. Armor. All right. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Crank? Uh, I don't know that I've talked to this person before. Yo, can you. What do you got, first off? Let me have a look at your stock. Oh, buddy. All right, never mind. Uh, first, we're just going to have you repair uh, equipped. For what? Oh, it's 182? I'm fucking broke, bro. God damn it. Oh, no. Dude, I was gonna... Okay. Well, here's what we can do. Let's sell all our shit first. Uh, we can sell that one. Sell both of those. Sell. Sell. Plenty of... These, that one was negative 81 compared to what I got. This crossbow is apparently plus one, but it re is required level 10. So I guess we're holding on to it for a bit. Um, negative five, negative 11. Here's what I don't know. All right, so. I need to learn how to read one thing here. It says negative two, and then it has the blacksmith icon, or an armor icon. However, the thing that I have equipped currently is 69%, and the, this thing is 70%. Does that mean that the negative two is in comparison to the other item? That would not make sense. Or does it mean that it is negative two armor from what it would have at its max? which would be 40. This is a rhetorical question, obviously. I'm going to figure this out. See, this thing is not missing any. Okay. Confusing. Confusing. I'm going to sell... 
Trackers. I don't know, dude. I think I'm going to sell these. Uh, I can definitely sell both of these. Hmm. I can sell that. I can sell that too. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out another time. I'm going to keep paying attention to it. We'll get there eventually. I'm up to 237, unfortunately. It's barely enough money to do what we got to do. Are these going to be more maps? Holy shit. First map and second map. They're not that expensive, so I guess I'll buy them. Sure. Uh, okay. Well. It's possible I could sell some crafting items. Yeah, that's probably where the real money is for me anyways, right? Look at this. Sapphire dust, 46. Holy shit. Um, I'd sell a couple hardened leather. Here's the thing. I need a little bit of money in my pocket in order to be able to uh, buy Gwent cards at all times. I know it probably would be great to keep some of these items on me. However, I also desperately need the option to buy some shit when it comes up. So we're going to take a look at Powdered Pearl. God, that's expensive. Ruby Dust. Flawless Sapphire. Hey. Do I need to take it to Medici? Uh, okay. Um, a Monster Eye. Sure. Bunch of oils. Um, sap. A bunch of leather straps. Get rid of like half of them. Diamond dust. Holy shit. Amethyst dust. All right, so we should figure this out right now. Amethyst dust is currently worth 25. Can I craft amethyst? Is that how this works? Can you turn amethyst dust into like... You can make infused dust with something. Okay. Um... Is there a canian powder? All right. No idea. I think I need more uh, recipes and stuff. All right. Oh, man. My guess is that, like, I could make this shit and make fucking bank reselling it some somewhere, but I really don't know. Um. All right. Do you have anything else to buy while I still have... While I'm flush with cash? It would make a ton of sense. Like some of these uh, diagrams and shit. No? Okay. Um, cool. Well, we'll call that there. Uh, and then I need you to repair stuff for me. Need something crafted. Repair equipped. So, let's see here. This says negative nine. As equipped. Let's pick something easier. Like, uh, like this one. Negative two as equipped. So, this should say 51 after I re repair it. It uh, went away. So let's take a look at our inventory. So long. Uh, okay. How do we double check? It was... This? It does not say 51. I remain confused, but I can't wait to stumble through this shit later. All right, cool. <laughs> Uh, with that done, you know, I think it's time to probably hit that. Items have been enhanced. And hit this. And start heading off towards Fike Isle. Uh, old woman there. Hi, Roach. Okay. Whew. I want to remove my marker. Incredible. And then I want to try and get to Fike Isle somewhere. I think we go towards here. I think what we'll do is we'll go towards like there uh, next episode. Yeah? Seems like a fine way to do it. That'll allow us to explore Oratin as well as uh, get there for the, e the uh, Forefather's Eve. All right, great. So this would be a great stopping point right here. I didn't know, don't know why I hopped off my horse. Cool. That's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Holy cow. Having a lot of fun playing The Witcher today. Uh, yeah. We wrapped up the uh, 
the tower quest and also uh, got a new one from the Peller. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed it anyways. I hope you did too. And then we stumbled over more selling and and crafting and all of that all of that jazz, which is just half the fun of learning a game like this is like learning the ins and outs of the market and stuff. So just a reminder, this is a blind playthrough. Please, you know, do not try and backseat or, or explain those those things for me because then I don't have the magical moment of actually understanding them myself. Uh, and you guys don't get to watch that magical moment and we all don't have a fun time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.